Ever wonder where all that recycled paper goes? Well, look no further than your own bathroom. Many brands of toilet paper begin as recycled paper. The bales of paper drop down into the pulper, a giant tank with an agitator similar to what you see in a washing machine. It mixes the paper in lukewarm water for about 10 minutes, transforming it into what's known as pulp and screening out all the bits of metal and plastic. Now they have to take out the ink. The ink removal system injects the pulp with air. The ink particles attach to the air bubbles, which rise to the top. The system then skims off the foam, leaving the pulp ink-free. Next, the pulp passes through a series of rollers which squeeze out the water. This dries out the soggy pulp, enabling it to absorb the chemicals they'll use to bleach it. Revolving knives now chop it up again to prepare it for the bleaching process, the details of which are a closely guarded trade secret. The bleach turns the gray pulp a pure white. The company says it does this without using chlorine or other toxic chemicals. They spread the wet pulp onto a flat screen that runs through a hot dryer. In less than a second, the pulp dries into a delicate paper a mere tenth of a millimeter thick. Each spool holds 75 kilometers of paper. That spool now feeds a machine with rollers that emboss a pattern, in this case, a waffle print. The pattern isn't just aesthetic, it also makes the paper thicker and therefore more absorbent. Elsewhere in the factory, production is rolling, so to speak, with two strips of cardboard, each eight centimeters wide. The machine coats the underside of the top strip with glue, then winds the two strips diagonally together to create a continuous cardboard tube. The machine then cuts the tube into 165 centimeter lengths. The tubes ride an elevator to the toilet paper zone. There, two giant spools of paper feed what's called the winding machine. The two sheets come together to form a two-ply toilet paper. paper then winds onto a cardboard tube, creating a super wide roll of toilet paper. When the roll is full, a blade automatically cuts the paper and winding resumes on the next tube. The machine automatically seals the end of the roll with glue to prevent unraveling. A circular saw slices the super wide toilet paper roll into 16 standard rolls, each 10.2 centimeters wide. The toilet paper is finished and ready for packaging. This batch is for commercial use. Each roll is individually wrapped in paper. Check out this slow motion wrapping action. Toilet paper destined for residential use gets wrapped in transparent plastic, 4 to 30 rolls per package.